Hey guys, Desletter Magic here, and it looks like uh, something slipped under the radar here. It's uh, Mark Rosewater's Keldheim teaser post, where he gives us half-truths, I guess. Most of them just make you want to slap somebody and wonder how he still works there, because it's going to be inherently broken. We've already seen enough leaked cards to know that uh, it's an absolute minefield of broken crap so far, so uh, let's see how much worse it gets. And by the way, I say this uh, article flew under the radar because every other one that he did was posted on uh, uh, Daily MTG as far as I know. Or, I mean, at least on Twitter. I mean, I'd never check that. I had to have seen it on Daily MTG. I don't know. So anyway, he says, before Keldheim's full previews, ha ha ha, officially begin, I thought I'd have some fun with another Morrow teaser where I uh, give you tiny hints of things to come. As always, be aware that I'm only giving partial information. Yeah, usually it's worse than he implies. So uh, what we can expect to see, one, a five color legendary enchantment. Yeah, they're pushing this five color trash. With Fabled Passage, we might have the fixing to back it up too. I'm kind of worried about that. I have a feeling that, uh, what's that new thing? It's not like prismatic. It's like, uh, maybe it is prismatic. I don't know. It, it's, uh, cosmic. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I have a feeling those will be the five color ones, but I'm not sure. There's something five colored in this because, uh, uh, wizards themselves already leaked the, uh, theme booster and there's a sixth one and it's five color, but it says Vikings on it, which is weird. So maybe it's not, I don't know. Who knows? So that's my little teaser for you. Uh, number two is a two plus one black for three total, uh, for six, six with death touch. Wonderful. I'm sure it has a downside, but first of all, why would a six, six be death touch? And secondly, I bet he's almost entirely lying and it actually is, uh, what do you call it? Well, no, he's implying that that's a CMC, but it's that thing where you cast it for a little bit in exile, then cast it for less later. I don't know. If he's counting that, I think that's what it is. Otherwise, it'll probably be like it deals five damage to you per turn or something, you know. Whatever. It'll probably be game ruining. Uh, the next one is a card that allows you to kill someone with poison. There it is. Right there. He didn't say poison counters. He said poison, but I honestly don't care which it is. I don't want any of that anywhere near my game. I don't want anything that Mark Rosewater designed anywhere near my game. Uh, next up, a card with two white, two blue, two black, two red, two green, and then tap to activate it. If they reprint door to nothingness or whatever that damn card is, where you just pay 10 tap it, and win the game, I'm going to lose my shit. I don't care what this is. I don't care what this does. I don't want it. You don't want it. You know it's going to be some overpowered crap or an alternate win con. And uh, no thanks. Uh, next up, let's see. A card that lets you use a creature's toughness to perform an action normally using a creature's power. Oh, more than one card, Mark. And it's already leaked. On Arena. It's called Backbone. Uh, next up, we got numerous new non-token or non-creature tokens. Uh, which ones do we know? I think treasure was confirmed. Don't really remember what the others are, but I, I already gave you my theory about what they uh, might be in the next or the previous video. Uh, next up, we got a card that can make a token that's a copy of target permanent for no mana. Why does this dumbass think that anybody wants that? That anybody will be anything but worried about that? That that anybody's excited or hyped about that sentence that he just typed? And it's a card, so a spell that makes a token copy. So it's not just, oh, it's a shapeshifter that enters as. But um, like shapeshifters have been confirmed for the set, so obviously that's what it is. But yeah, this sounds just utterly, completely broken. In fact, haven't we already seen the card? That sounds really familiar. Anyway, uh, next up, a black creature that can copy other creatures. Wonderful, more shapeshifter crap. That's what we need, more copying. Because why shouldn't every game be a mirror match? And if you already have one overpowered permanent, why not have two? It goes both ways. Uh, next up, let's see. The introduction of a creature type that players have been wanting for years. Uh, don't care. You're going to ruin the set, so I really could care less. Uh, next, a card with three activation costs. One that's only ever been used once before, and uh, the other two have never been used. Probably a good reason for that. Then he says, here's the snippets of rules text you'll see. Protection from god creatures. Yes, we saw that one. Sacrifice five treasures. Okay, so, yeah. I think we've actually seen that card. Uh, if three or more creatures died this turn, I bet that's the 6-6 six, six death touch thing for three. My gosh, would that not be worth it? Uh, if, uh, oh no, I already read that one. Uh, choose one, two, or three at random. So then you gotta bring dice along and divide by two and all this enumeration crap. Great. Obviously digital oriented. You know, they've done stuff like that in the past, even though they, they claim they don't. 
Uh, they have one that'll say, except for giants, wizards, and lands. Yep, selective board wipe, obviously. Clear as day. Uh, let's see. You may search your library and or graveyard for a rune card. Okay, we already knew that. Just uh, saw that today. We still don't know what a rune card is, though. Uh, next up, as long as you control three or more legendary creatures. Oh, that's what we need. Encourage that. I mean, don't they know Dominaria cycled out? Uh, no matter what deck you would try to build that's, like, all legendary, it's not going to work. You'll just get a bunch of repeats. That That's just crippling yourself needlessly. I would bet you that it says as long as you control three or more legendary creatures win the game, although that's not how they would phrase that. Uh, so, okay, X, the next thing is uh, X is the number of vehicles you control plus the number of equipment you control. Okay, we've seen that card. Literally not one human being on the planet is happy to see vehicles back, so that's great. Uh, next up, as long as you have at least seven life more than your starting life total. Yes, we know what that is. It's already written on a card that already exists that people hate. It's that stupid angel from today, and that thing is ten times as broken as anything you've seen so far. Uh, next, create X of those tokens instead. Eh, probably treasures. I think we've already seen the card that says that, actually. Then he says, and finally, here are some creature type lines you'll see. Angel warrior. Okay, zombie rogue. That's just stupid. Dwarf cleric. Yeah, they usually are, at least in D&D. Horse spirit. Okay, vampire dragon. Why not? Uh, legendary creature wolf, legendary creature bird spirit, legendary creature giant wizard, legend, <laughs> really giant wizard, legend, well, I mean frost giants though, and they know magic, that makes sense, uh, legendary creature demon berserker, and then legendary creature squirrel, and we've actually seen the last two. Jeez, how many cards have been leaked and spoiled? It's got to be upwards of like 20 plus at this point. Like, I'm just realizing how many of these we've already seen, and I probably missed some. So that's your, uh, very... Very scary picture that Mark Rosewater just painted for all of us. I don't know if he just gets off on taunting people about how broken it's going to be, or he likes scaring people, or he likes the, the backlash. I mean, what, what can you expect to get out of, it costs three and it's a 6-6 six, six with death touch? You can clone something for zero mana. What does this moron think our response is going to be to that? Th this sounds like a dumpster fire. I mean, we already know standard is. It almost can't get worse, but we all know it It absolutely can. They're going to have to get out the ban hammer and swing it like a Viking on crack. Whatever, that that's the sound. Do you hear it? It's the sound of the last arena player finally leaving standard forever. And I'd say hopefully Brawl gets better with this. White life gain Heliod and green literally anything, Korvath or whatever. No, what's his name? The giant guy. Those are going to be the only two decks played, period. The end. I mean, probably still Torbrand because he's an asshole, but uh, really mono white and mono green are going to be the only ways to win once the set drops because we've seen cards that will single-handedly push it over the edge. Although I will say, I mean, the number one deck in Brawl right now is mono green, clearly in my opinion. I, I haven't looked at any stats, but it's just that's what everybody plays, so it's got to be number one. And the one card that makes it even worse, like astronomically worse as far as four or greater card draw, is just get targeted in card draw, which is like the opposite little insurance policy. So unfortunately, that's not legendary, though. If that was legendary, that would just be it. They'd have to ban it day one in Brawl. That giant guy who gains counters, he's just there because, I mean, they just needed to pick one. The rest of the deck is just a card draw engine with Trample that speaks for itself, you know? So, okay, is one card in that big of a singleton deck really going to make a difference? No, but it's just making the deck so much better. It's really annoying. And with the amount of card draw, you're probably going to see that card every other game, you know, because usually half your deck will get, you know, cast with, with that type of archetype. So I'm, I'm a little worried. I mean, there's going to be nothing left to play. There's going to be no customers left and no money. And they're making money like crazy on master sets and secret layers because people are idiots. So there's no sense Hasbro coming in telling them to stop what they're doing because they haven't seen the extent of the damage yet until it's too late. Then they'll see it all collapse in, in one year and they'll they'll do something. They'll try and do something drastic, fire everybody, spin them off, whatever. But I heard that the financials last year were pretty good. Or this year or whatever. We haven't really seen them yet. Well, good for them. I'm, I'm glad people still stupidly give them mountains of money. So, uh... If that's you, could you not? Yeah. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next video.